can't kill it, but maybe is uh, definitely the hero that can kill it. Uh, it just depends on how early the Batrider wants to take it out. You need at least level 2. If he's level 2, it's not like the Timbers can really rotate uh, that early, but if Timbers level 6, might be a different story, especially if the supports are close in. There are a lot of stacks up on maybe in the mid lane. He has seven, seven stacks. Seven stacks with that Dragon Tail set up for the Super. They may just be able to do it here. He's got one more Tango to go for, but it's not going to save him. And Zhao A, pretty much man of the match in game one with his game one. And game one in itself was fantastic in its own right. Mm -hmm. And that kill was caused by Super getting the stun at level 2. Very unusual pickup for a Dragonite. But if you get to a, a kill, especially first blood, and especially in a tough matchup like that, it's worth it. Top lane, XZ. Xiao he's there. He'll be fire flying over XZ as well as Jijing. And XZ falling down low. Two stacks on him. And Xiao he's enabled another kill already for the team. LFY. Picking up two kills, Zhao Ai getting involved across the map. TP if they TP preemptively. He grabs a haste, he walks over mid. Victoria will be sighted first. Will be the target indeed, and immediately with the Firefly starting to run over this Oracle. And maybe he's going to head over as well. Super's trying to get himself in the neighborhood. Backup is inbound for LGD as TP's come through. And that will hold Zhao Ai back. Zhao Ai. Not by the initial carapace, trying to get himself over the tree line, but maybe jumps across Timber Chain and the Chakra, bringing him down low, giving the vision for the purifying flames. And LGD punishing that play there from Xiao Wei. It's apparent that he wasn't going to get the kill. Oh, Xiao Wei knows something's up, drops down the sentry and allow the vision here for the Dragon Tower. But looks like Nixie's just outside of range of the sentry, so Ji Jing you know, to head back, but he goes back under range. Yao able to lay down the amplifier. Ji Jing getting caught out. The rest of LGD have already backed off. So LFY. Reading the situation, dropping down the sentry, and getting themselves that kill. And maybe potentially helping, helping something good here. That's why. Super heading across, and they do have backup as well. They're going to look to try and lean in with the Dragon Tail. Stealing the Invis room, maybe. Something going up to the high ground, but the Kinetic Field and the Static Storm drop down by DDC. The backup will be there for Victoria, but he's yet to hit level 6. No false promise, but it looks like it's not needed. Maybe able to turn around with the Shack Ram onto Yao, coming in with a two-man crush. But LGD there, fine, and it's going to be Slardar losing his life. LFY paying the price here, and LGD are moving forward for more. They've got eyes on Tijiawe. The stun for Jijing isn't going to connect, but Ame continues to chase down with the Shukuchi. They'll hold him in place there as Victoria's there with the backup. LGD able to equalize the scoreboard, get a couple of kills back their way. And you can, you're beginning. It was pretty close. And Xiao Eight ready to wrap around from the top side. He does have lasso available, but no firefly for eight. I'm gonna try for it, but Victoria is there. And as I said, the false flame is always gonna be available. They do have to lock down on the lasso to drag him back. Maybe he could play his way out of this though. No damage is pretty much taken off that false promise because of the regen that he has. They just can't bring him down. And now LGD, they brought over the backup. Super will hold back Ji Jing with the Dragon Tail. Maybe Timber chaining across, looking for blood, focusing down on Ji Jia with this full on Shakram, pulls it back in, takes down the Bat Rider, and maybe surviving for it all. And as we're seeing, LFY, they just don't have the tools to bring down this Timber Sword at this stage of the game, and maybe he's not done. He's going to be back in with the Shack Ram. Gigi will get taken down by the Crush. Amplify from Yao. Now GG now on the retreat. They've lost one for one. They glimpse back onto our main. In fact, our main has had a man crushed up, and they've lost the Weaver. That was not what LGT wanted to happen off the back of that one. They just stayed so long, and none of their heroes had mana left at that point. Like, Timber Sword was out of mana. I couldn't really go in. And we were certainly seeing LFY struggle to... Backed up by Yao and TDC. Maybe they try again with a bit of a glimpse into a crush of sorts, but Victoria's there to purge off the Amplifier. Will still get glimpsed back again with the Static Storm. They're going to try and go for round two, but again, Victoria's there with a false promise. They're going to the follow through Lasso, holding him in place, but again, have they actually got the damage to bring him down? They do punish it by killing off the Oracle, but they aren't killing this Timbersaw. Again, another kinetic field. They have Amplify on him, but a full Shackram and a good stun for GG holding. And in the midst of it, brings him incredibly low. He'll be able to rage and arm the toggle his way out of it all. Maybe again being this bad. They want to kill this Timbersaw so damn bad. With the Amplify, they made him go to do it. No, he's still alive. Surely he dies here. He will finally fall. But it takes so much effort there from LFY. But it is a big kill to finally get. It was very smart. Uh, they're getting more it's like, by looks of it as well yeah, with these another. glimpse plays from DDC bringing in XZ as well. That's the Batrider from Batrider Blink. So the way they started off that fight was 
they 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 knew that the same thing was going to happen. Okay, they'll pull Tempers off closer to the tower, but Oracle Foss promises, and because Oracle Foss promises, he's in vision, and Life Stealer just ran Dragon Knight stun, Amp, I would say, like, all very Ooh, good skills. They're going for this play again. Yuzi may be trying to bait LFY in for a bit of a jump. LGD already looking for the wraparound, but there's a sentry jail. They've got the eyes on Jijing. They have to use the false promise to keep the Nyx Assassin alive. Static Storm as well, clipping both of them. They've taken down Victoria. They'll turn towards Jijing as well. They'll die post false promise. They may have got the tower, but they've lost two heroes, and they may even lose more. Uh, Yao unable to hit the crush, though. Inside Xiao Wei. And eyes towards the bottom lane. Now it is just XE, but he's out on his own, and they'll take a free kill. And that's why. Make short work of the Ogre. Not a lot that XE could do. Just hoping to, to come out of the lane for some levels and farm. But they don't blow a lasso. Like, see, so. It, you're like, oh, yeah, they blew a smoke for it, but with no last momentum back in favor of LGD yeah, at the moment. Definitely LFY with the lead. Maybe actually just wants to trade in. There will be TPs across, and they're going to start to force LFY back. Focusing Super Down first, and coming in on the front lines, and uh, Victoria has to false promise himself to keep himself alive. Yao coming in with a full back crush. There's no follow-up at the moment, though, from LFY. Now Yao in a bit of a tricky position himself, maybe. Jumping across with the timber trade, looking to finish off Yao. He's getting himself away, though, with the crush and the run. Held in position by Victoria. One more Chakram should do it, so maybe. Straight after picking up the Bloodstone, able to get himself a charge in the bank. Jijing, he's actually looking for more here. Coming around the back lines. Anyways. Oh, shit. Oh, yeah, he did, Ben. It's getting late. LGD. And looks like they aren't going to find anything indeed, but that smoke. LFY is still in a potential position to make a jump themselves. DDC, even though we're getting a bit of vision, super positive. Dragonfawn turns towards maybe Jijing. Still under the cover of Vendetta, who could look for some kind of a counter play. They're trying to find DDC on the sidelines, but he gets the static shot down to the Weaver. Victoria's there, though, with a backup. Keeping the Weaver alive with a false promise. Maybe chops down for the midst of them all, and he's found the kill on to disrupt to the first casualty on LFY. Maybe Timber chaining away. And it looks like a word. I'm not sure if that's worth the positioning. And these, uh, okay, maybe maybe he's out in front. He pops the smoke. Yeah, Meet you jump in Static Storm. Will catch out Ji Jing. They'll jump in burst down the Victoria Oracle. And that's the big kill to the final star. Victoria's been saving a lot of heroes in these fights. This time he's not going to get the chance to. They've lost two. Ji Jing's going to buy back, but maybe as well to fall. LFY finding three kills out of this one. And maybe even more Ji Jing trying to get himself back in with the stone to hold back LFY's also. But the jump in from Yao is a three man crush. XZ, he's going to fall. And there's going to be a dieback for Ji Jing. LFY absolutely doing it here. They'll go for the TP out. Xiao Wei makes it away as well. Man, Yao has been performing. Like, he always identifies the best targets. Last game, he was all on top of the wizard. This game, he just bypasses maybe. I was like, I, we, we can't kill him. Jump in. That's so complete. You, you look at Yao. Yao's coming in from the left side on the secret shop. He's trying to flank them. He's actually kind of getting cold feet. He's back, back off. Super's going to be the one to lead in. Dragon Tail onto the Timber Saw. It's the hardest target to go on. Yao has end inside him. But again, not wanting to jump in on this one. The bugs from our mate holding back the initiation. LGD don't potential. have sentries. Like they're, they're just going to get jumped with no vision. Uh, Jijing dragged straight back into the Static Storm. And that'll be one freebie here for the side of LFY. Yeah, look at that. They have two sentries and one Observer Ward. LGD were sitting under LFY's Observer Wards. LGD are pushing forward with a full five man. If they can get the jump on Victoria or such, it's going to be so hard for LGD to turn this one around. The lead in here from Zhao, super. Maybe he's going to jump back first. Spike Arabs will come back out, but the Static Storm's there, trapping the Nyx Assassin. N will take him down. They found Victoria as well on the back lines. The two heroes that are crucial for the fight to find at the start of this fight. is going to be the third to be focused down. The Crush holding maybe in place. He Lotus Orbs himself. Is he going to save him from the right clicks of N as maybe falling down low, burned down by the fire of the Dragon, super. It was a pick up the fourth there. And again, it's it's just this shot calling, this playmaking from LFY, which is making them seem like they're on another level today, Ben. Yeah, it's just way better than LGDs. They, they intend to get done with this sort of a lineup, picking this Nyx Assassin, and suddenly it's just unable to set anything up, and it's LFY consistently setting things up onto you, Yao. Just jumps straight into the jungle, finds Victoria, they just turn their eyes towards Xi Jing as well, and just like that, it's quick and easy pickoffs. Two at a time for LFY because of this warding. Similar to what we saw in terms of playstyle in game one. They're going to five blast to hold back the dragon. The Shakram actually bringing N down low, but Yao's there. He jumps inside, blinks away, takes the life stealer back to safety. Super just BKBs, TPs back out. Ami was actually able to finish off the bat, though. He came back, Xiao Wei, looking for the defense, was able to ward Ame away. Actually paying with his life, and no Yao coming in with a surprise, and no hole. They get revenge. They may have lost the director, but N producing 
A fantastic kill there with the help of Yao. And the double-edged sword with the Lincolns. Lincolns is great versus the Batrider, but it's, I don't know who would get it, but I think that's the very first step that they uh, need to do. And then after that, uh, I, I don't know. I don't know if building BKBs is the right solution. I, I guess at some point you do. In mid lane, he just dies to another Infest Bomb just this, in a matter of seconds to crush. This vision, this pickoff potential, and then Yao consistently finding things. In, and it's a big, big pickoff as, indeed as well to have this stage because he's out for a full minute. Arme, no way that he can help the lineup out. As LFY coming in with this heavy push on the bottom lane, maybe trying to draw their attention away from the wreck, but Xiaowei immediately in and gets Victoria. The pick up that he needs each and every time. Static Storm controlling maybe. They've lost three on LGD. It's 27 to 7. Xe is glimpsed back. He loses his life as well, and GG is called. It's all too much here for LGD's original squad. And it'll be LFY moving on as the last representative Chinese side here at the Boston Major Band. Yeah, and it is no surprise that, like, Xiaowei's team...